From its source on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the Yangtze River passes mountains and ridges, takes in hundreds of rivers and thousands of lakes, and rushes east toward the sea. To President Xi Jinping, the Yangtze River is important to all generations. In his heart, a river with clear water is a scene of utmost beauty, carrying his deepest and sincerest devotion to the country. The Yangtze River originates from the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, flows through the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau before reaching the largest city in the upper stream, Chongqing. Chongqing is an important gateway along the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. Guanyang Island is the largest island in the Yangtze's upper reaches, a proposed development project threatened to harm the island's ecology. Encompassing 11 provinces and cities, the Yangtze River Basin region represents half the nation's population and economy, making it an essential to the country's ecological balance. Decades of rapid development took a heavy toll on the environment of the Yangtze River Basin. President Xi was saddened to see the dreadful state of the country's mother river. In January 2016, just as large-scale development projects were being launched along the river, President Xi chaired a symposium in Chongqing on advancing the development of the Yangtze River economic belt. <laughs> These important instructions from Xi were inspiring. He stressed that it is critical for us to step up conservation of the Yangtze River and stop its overdevelopment. All illegal ports have been shut and a fishing ban has been fully implemented. The strength and scale of these efforts are unprecedented. In August 2017, Chongqing terminated the Guangyang Island Real Estate Development Project. After several years of ecological restoration, Guangyang Island took on a new lease of life. After leaving Chongqing, the Yangtze River flows down to the Three Gorges, reaching Yicheng. Yicheng is one of the largest phosphate mining areas in China. Hubei Xingfa Chemicals Group is the largest chemical company in Yicheng. In order to protect the Yangtze River's ecology, it took the lead in vacating production facilities along the river. However, stimulating the transformation and upgrading of the company remained a major problem. We all 
有积极向高级发展的过程中，就是要用什么方式发展，发展什么，怎么发展，概念还是比较模糊。To help the Yangtze River Economic Belt achieve high-quality development, President Xi made another trip to the Yangtze River. On April 24, 2018, he flew to Yicheng, and as soon as he got off the plane, headed to Hubei Xingfa Chemicals Group. After leaving Hubei Xingfa Chemicals Group, she traveled along the river to Yicheng, Jingzhou, Yueyang, and Wuhan. Covered with dust, he pushed on with his journey. In Wuhan, President Xi Jinping chaired a symposium on in-depth promotion of the development of the Yangtze River economic belt. He said that it was necessary to strike an appropriate balance between destroying outdated driving forces and cultivating new drivers of growth. After the symposium, Hubei Xingfa Chemicals Group dismantled 32 sets of production equipment, sealed all of its sewage outlets into the Yangtze River, and invested 1.2 billion RMB in establishing sewage processing and recycling equipment. Hubei Xingfa Chemicals Group switched its leading industries to electronic chemicals, new silicone materials, and green energy. More than 100 R&D researchers dedicated themselves to investigating electronic chemicals. After its initial lows, Hubei Xingfa Chemicals Group's revenue hit a record high. New driving forces have replaced the old ones. The tide of innovation has surged. Many emerging industries now thrive along the Yangtze River, and technological innovation centers are on the rise, with advanced industrial foundation and modernization now complementing each other, the Yangtze River Economic Belt is on track to advancing its high-quality development and moving forward. As it makes its way east, the Yangtze River moves to the lower reaches of the plains. In the past, hundreds of thousands of people along the river made a living from fishing. Chen Lanxiang was one of them. Her nickname is San Gunyang. She and her husband have lived on the river for more than 20 years, and their fishing boat of 30 to 40 square meters is their home. In 2019, the city of Ma and Shan banned fishing along the main streams and major tributaries of the Yangtze River. But what will happen to Chen Lanxiang and other people who lived off fishing? In August 2020, she came to Shuijiawa. He emphasized that the fishing ban along the Yangtze River does not mean leaving behind and ignoring people engaged in the fishing business. We should make substantial efforts to provide resettlement and employment opportunities including public welfare positions, so that those who were in the fishing business can live stably and obtain prosperity. Ma'anshan City has introduced a series of policies to help those impacted by the fishing ban. Chen Lanxiang and eight others started a household management services company. In December 2020, the San Gunyang Labor Services Company was officially established. Those who previously worked in the fishing business now have new jobs. Within a year, the company was making an income of 1.6 million RMB. At the end of the year, Chen Lanxiang and her employees received a dividend of 140,000 RMB. 
This year, Chen Langxiang's family began a new chapter. Three generations now live in a new home of 100 square meters. To President Xi, the Chinese people's well-being is a national priority. Thanks to President Xi Jinping's attention, the livelihoods of nearly 300,000 fishermen in the Yangtze River Basin have been guaranteed, and people along the Yangtze River have embarked on a new chapter of their lives. The mainstream of the Yangtze River flows through 11 provinces. It has nurtured the Chinese people and formed a common memory for all who live off it. President Xi Jinping has always valued the culture of the Yangtze River. In July 2003, he visited the Liangzhu ruins in its lower reaches to conduct on-site research. More than 5,000 years ago, this was a large city. At the beginning of the new century, the archaeological ruins of Liangzhu stood at the crossroads of protection and development. President Xi Jinping remained steadfast. The archaeological ruins of Liangzhu lie on sacred ground that is evidence of 5,000 years of Chinese civilization. It is our rare and precious treasure. We should make every possible effort to protect it. Under President Xi Jinping's instructions, more than 30 quarries near Liangzhu were closed. In 2016, four archaeologists wrote to President Xi Jinping hoping for support in gaining recognition for the Liangzhu site as a World Heritage Site, she gave instructions stressing efforts to continuously deepen the understanding of the long history and precious value of Chinese civilization. The Liangzhu ancient city ruins symbolize the ancient civilization of the Yangtze River Basin. In July 2019, at the 43rd World Heritage Conference, they caught the attention of the world. The property represents the remarkable contribution made by the Yangtze River Basin to the origins of Chinese civilization. It represents the remarkable contributions made by the Yangtze River Basin to the origins of the Chinese civilization. Therefore, I declare the draft decision 43, COM 8B.15, adopted. The archaeological ruins of Liangzhu City were successfully inscribed on the World Heritage List as a cultural site. She personally launched the project aimed at tracing the origins of Chinese civilization. The series of archaeological sites along the Yangtze River fully demonstrated the richness, diversity and inclusiveness of Chinese civilization and underscore Xi's focus on the protection and inheritance of Yangtze River culture. In November 2020, President Xi chaired a symposium on comprehensively advancing the development of the Yangtze River Economic Belt in Nanjing. Since the 18th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, President Xi Jinping has traveled all along the Yangtze River and chaired several symposiums to promote the development of the Yangtze River Economic Belt, caring deeply about ecological protection, economic transformation, improving people's livelihoods and cultural inheritance. He has turned his deep love for the Yangtze River into a blueprint and is determined to realize every inch of it. When he sees the Yangtze River, President Xi visualizes plans and guides the country with his earnest words. 
In doing so, he has given this ancient river a fresh new look. Ensure that a river is clean, and that it is clean for the people.